Are you tired of digging through old project folders just to find that one design you use all the time? What if you could just drop it into any project in just one click? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own custom clip art inside of Vetric software. This works both for 2D and 3D designs. If you're using VCarve or Cut2D, you can save your vectors as 2D clip art. And if you have Aspire, you can create 3D clip art from your models. Once you save them, they'll show up right inside of your Vetric clip art library, ready to reuse over and over again. No more searching through old files, just grab it, drop it in, and keep designing faster. Let's jump into Vetric and I'll show you step by step how to turn one of your designs into custom clip art. First we'll look at 2D and then we'll look at creating 3D clip art inside of Aspire. So here we are inside of Vetric software and like I said this can be done in Cut2D, VCarve, or Aspire. And our ultimate goal here is to take the custom design that we're making now and put it into our clip art library inside of Vetric. That way we can just drag and drop it into any project that we want to use it in. And you could do this for any designs that you use over and over again. So one thing I was thinking about in this particular example is sometimes people like to stamp their work that they make with their name, their logo, or something like that. So if you have a logo or text or anything that you like to use over and over again in other projects, we can save this in the clip art library that way you don't have to search for this file every time that you want to use it in a different project. So as you can see, I have a 2D design of my logo and I also created some layers just to show you that the layers will go with the clip art as well. So I have three different layers for different parts of this design. The only thing that will not go with it is the toolpaths. So if you make any toolpaths, do not expect those to go with the clip art. Only the design and the layers will go with the clip art. So keep that in mind as we work through this. But inside of my clip art folder, I have a folder called my clip art. And I made that folder to put things in here that I use often to be able to drag and drop them into different projects. I made some examples in here, but as you can see, I can just drag and drop something in here and whatever I designed in that clip art will come over in this particular design. And that could be 2D objects. It can also be 3D objects. And you'll see that will come in as a 3D object as well. So I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to drag and drop something from your custom clip art. So let's look at how to get this design into the clip art. And in order to get it as a 2D design, it has to be saved as either a CRV file or a CRV 3D file. And that will be Vetric's native project file format. So you don't really need to do anything special when saving it. However, you do need to make sure it is in the correct location. So to find this location of these folders, open up any of your clip art folders inside of here and right click on any object and click on open containing folder. When you click on that, that will open up the folder that contains that clip art. And what you can do is go up a folder into the main folder here called clip art. And this is the exact location in case you want to find it. It should be in your C drive in the users folder under public documents, Vetric files and clip art. That will get you to this file location. And inside of this file location, I would click new folder to start a brand new folder. You don't have to do this, but I would recommend it, especially if you want to keep things organized. Another tip is these are alphabetical order. So if you want it to show up at the top, maybe put a number one in front of it and then maybe an underscore. And then you can say my clip art and then click enter. And that will create a brand new folder at the top of the list called my clip art. And now whatever you save in here will show up in your clip art library as long as it's a compatible format of the file type. So like I said, for 2D objects, it will have to be CRV or CRV 3D. And we'll be looking at the 3D objects coming up here in the next example. So right now this folder is empty. So what we need to do is take the project we already have and save it in this folder. So a trick you can do is click up here in the address bar for this file location, right click on it and click copy. And then in this project, I'm gonna click file, save, and that's gonna open up our file menu. And then up at the top, I can right click and paste that location and click enter. And that will bring us into that folder we just made. So that will give us a good spot to save this. And I will save this as 2D logo. And you can see it's saving as a CRV 3D because I'm using Aspire. But if you have VCarve or Cut2D, it will save as a CRV file. Either way is fine. As long as you're using one of those formats, it will work. So I'm gonna save that in here and you'll see right away, you're not gonna see anything. 
So what you have to do is open up a brand new window of your Vetrix software. And when you do that, you can create a new project or open an existing project. And you'll see right now, this brand new project is empty. There's no layers created and there's no vectors in here. But if we go to our clip art library and then go to the clip art folder, you can see there is a brand new folder called my clip art number one. That is the one we just made. Now, if I open that up down here at the bottom, you can see exactly what we just made and saved in that clip art. So now I can drag and drop that into any project and you can see that's going to be quick and easy to import into any project where I do not have to find the file location buried in my computer somewhere. It's always going to be right here in my clip art library and it will remember the original size. So if it's a certain size, you need something, make sure you save it at that size and you can still scale it later, but it will keep that size. If you want it, it will also bring in all of the layers from that project. And you see, I had a couple extra layers that I did not get rid of because those were imported. So if I wanted to clean that up a bit, I could delete those extra layers and resave that piece of clip art. So you can edit the clip art later if you had to, but as you can see, this is a quick and easy way to get things into your clip art library very fast. And then, like I said, you can do anything you want to it later. So you can scale it, you can move it, you can reposition it. it just keeps it quick and easy to import things into your project that you use very often. So now let's look at how to use this in Aspire with 3D custom clip art. So here is a 3D object of my logo. You can see it is modeled as a 3D object and this was done in Aspire. So you do need to have Aspire to be able to make 3D clip art. This will not work in VCarve or Cut 2D. And the way you can make this work is first create your 3D model and then the 3D model you're going to save as its own clip art. And the way to do that is up here in your component tree, you want to right click on the object that you want to save. It could be just one component or it can be multiple components combined together, but you want to click export as 3D clip art. When you click on that, that will open up your folder again and ask you where you want to save it. So I can name this in here as 3D logo and you'll see this one saves as a different file format. This is the only one that's going to work for 3D objects because this format will not be able to open in VCarve. So this will only work for Aspire users. It will save as a .3D clip file. We can save that and now that will save in our clip art library to be able to use in different projects. You could also save this as a CRV file by clicking file save and save it as CRV 3D. That will also work as well. But now if we go to our new project and go to the clip art folder again, you can see there we have our 3D file as well. And if you hover over these, it will tell you the file name and the file extension. So you can see one's a 3D clip and one is a CRV file. So now we can drag and drop that into our project and look at that. There is our 3D object that we can now see. It even brings the color and everything with it. And like I said, the only thing it does not bring with it is the tool pass. So if you created tool pass in your original file, those will not come into the new file, but you can save those as a template as well and export them and then import them. And some of you may be thinking that you can save STL files or SVG files or anything like that. That is a common question people ask. Unfortunately, those do not work in the clip art library. If you save those in that folder, they just won't show up in here. That's just how Vetric works. So you can only use Vetric file types in this clip art library. You won't be able to use any external file types in here. And that's how you can save your own custom clip art in Vetric. So you never have to dig through old files again. If you want to keep leveling up your Vetric skills, don't stop here. Click on the video on your screen right now for another one of my best Vetric tips. I'll see you over there.